Hello everybody, this is Jeremy Taylor with the Nada. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an extremely quick look at the brand new Audio 2 MIDI feature inside of Easy Bass. Now, for this one, we're just going to be taking a look at the record audio function because I am using the standalone version of Easy Bass. So for this, what we do is go to the audio tracker, hit record audio. Now, what I want to do is make sure my input is set properly. We have multi out so I can hear it and it goes into my screen capture software and my input channel is set to 31. I can make this stereo and make it 31 and 32. That is technically the output of my Helix. And that is a custom patch that I made. So we're gonna test out to see how well Easy Bass tracks distorted guitar. So all we have to do is make sure that the little record button is dark, hit play, and now we can play. Next, we basically hit pause and we select bass audio to MIDI, guitar audio to bass MIDI, percussion audio to bass MIDI. We hit OK and now we just listen to it. It's actually not bad. It definitely hit most of the notes, but this is actually pretty cool because I can actually go ahead and edit this along now and make this actually fit where I want. I do notice that it also grabs the slides, which is really cool. And uh, so far I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm going to hit a more different mix with more bass just so I can hear it differently. I am noticing that it isn't hitting all of the articulations. That just means that it's doing a pretty good job, uh, but it's not working magic. You can't really take off the distortion of something that's already been recorded. So we're gonna do another one, and all you have to do is hit new session. And we're gonna change the input. I'm gonna go into a mono instance on channel 30. That is the DI output of my Helix. And it's gonna be nice and clean. So now we're gonna hit record again or play. We pause it and we notice that it does look a lot different. That actually detected the notes a lot better. Notice that we have different colored notes here. That's actually different articulations uh, because this will actually do percussive mutes, auto alternate down picking, ghost notes, grace notes up, down, and it actually gives you a lot of options. So if I want to, I can make this a ghost note, an alternate pick, and I can actually pretty much extend this note or shrink this note if I want to. I mean, that didn't sound good at all, but that's because that's not actually what I played. But now I can actually add MIDI to song track. There is the MIDI. I can now edit it in the groove pool and I can actually go ahead, delete this. We don't need this anymore and grid edit. And this is where it really comes in handy to have these options because I can now go ahead and move these around anywhere I want. Change stuff like the velocity. I really like the grid editor. It really reminds me of Superior Drummer 3's grid editor, um, only a lot more simple, which is probably a really cool thing. But that's it. It's actually doing a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but nothing is perfect so far. The only thing that I have noticed is even close to something as good as this would be Melodyne. But this is specifically tailored to bass, so it actually does a really good job of tracking the notes and getting rid of the unwanted uh, dead notes that you might hit or the messiness. Whereas something like Melodyne, when you do something like this inside of it, it actually just kind of picks up everything. Even ground hum and guitar buzz will be picked up and you'll have to delete that. Whereas this completely ignores that and it even tells you the notes and scale that you're pretty much in. 
right here in a nice little breakdown. Stay tuned for a lot more videos on Easy Bass. I will see you guys next time. Bye.